Hi, my name's Mark. I'm on a level 3 animation for games and media course. Um, the brief for our assignment was to produce a media artefact that shows one or more of the disciplines that we have undertaken this year to create a media product. Uh, the product can be anything as long as it's gaming or media related. Um, when I started this assignment, I had three ideas of like, creating a new video game character with a weapon um, to show their four abilities. Um, I also had an idea of a 3D animated character with 2D facial rigging or an animated scene with, to create an environment for a 3D character designed by me based on an existing character from an advert. Um, I decided to make a 3D character from the famous online game League of Legends. I hadn't previously heard of this game before I started this course, but through watching gaming channels and hearing lots of lots of um, talk about League of Legends in my class from my classmates, I um, decided to like, look into this and I found that I really enjoyed playing the game. So I thought it would be awesome to make a new character, to develop um, four new unique abilities for the character, um, animate them using Maya software and After Effects using the skills that I learnt. Um, the program I used to, to create my product was Autodesk Maya 2015. Um, it allows you to create 3D models such as those used in like modern games on, on the gaming apps. One of my favourites, Boom Beach. It's cool. Um, Adobe Photoshop as a graphics editor, I used to create the 2D digital artwork um, that was added to my final piece. Um, with Adobe Premiere Pro, a video editor that I used to combine the image renders in come from Maya into the video files. Um, I used Adobe After Effects, which you can combine and animate motion track videos, images, and text throughout a time slider to create these stunning movie-like sequences. The main principles around my final product were to follow the tutorials that were available to me either from my tutor or from YouTube tutorials. Um, in Maya, for example, I ensured that all the pixels were um, contained four edges. These four edge spaces, they are called quads. Um, whilst it seems to appear that some of the three-sided triangles in my character model when looking closer, I've used the techniques taught to me by my tutor to model these as quads to ensure that these aren't issues later on. I created a lot of concept art um, that I did in my spare time outside of college and I scanned these in and used some of the ideas to help with my character and weapon. I modelled only one half of my 3D character as once I completed that, all I needed to do was like mirror this to the other side and com combine the objects together uh, to create the full character model. I also used this principle in how I created the 3D weapon. Um, using textures, materials and some UV mapping, I was able to essentially colour in my character and the weapon included with an environment. I then added the joints to my character which are called rigging the character like the human body has joints that rotate our bones, this is the same principle with Maya. After rigging my character, I used the techniques taught to me to animate my character throughout the time slider. But when I was happy with the animation, it was time for the rendering, which took a very long time to do. But after the rendering was completed, the images were created and I merged these into a movie using the Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, after that, I added the 2D digital artwork from Photoshop and animated it with the movie in Adobe After Effects. In this full character turntable sequence, uh, you can see all of the edges in my character design that contain all of those awesome quads that make up the visual excellence. Overall, though, I could have worked more on my time management for my project, but I'm happy that I've produced a piece of work that incorporates all the disciplines that I've been taught so that I can create a 3D model the correct way and not just bang a load of faces together and I've fought over the correct ways of making them. I did notice that there are a few issues here but I know that I'm, I've not set the correct influences on the joints around this area so I should have done that before animating this sequence.
In this head turntable sequence, you'll notice that there are a lot more faces in the head than there are in any other part of the body. Um, it's, it's because mainly the face carries all the details that make up the look of the character. Um, I had this vision of a character with an anime style face, but this character's face didn't look exactly like I planned, so I, I was able to 2D rig the eyes. Uh, the eyes were drawn by me in Adobe Photoshop, um, then I UV mapped it onto the area that you see here. Um, notice how that the triangles that you see on the screen, they are not really triangles, but they are just those four-sided quads. I made another sequence of my character firing a fireball. Um, I used an existing game map image to layer onto the ground and created a black dome around the scene um, to give that darker feel to the scene. Um, here's a really slow motion shot of the scene. So you can see how I've animated the direction of the fireball to move with the staff, and then fired towards the ground ahead. I created several cameras to show the scene his glory. And like the last sequence, I have created another scene with my character firing a fireball onto the enemy. I used an image from the internet and edited it in Photoshop to make it more like my own take on the image and then they used it for the ground layer, as you see here. The sky background is an image of the sky, which I have wrapped inside a sphere around the scene, giving the appearance of outside. Um, in this slow motion scene, you'll see four different camera angles of the entire casting of the fireball to firing into the enemy with the character reverting back to the original stance. In this bird's eye view, notice how I've added the health bar above the character. I uh, motion tracked it with their movements. Notice how I've also set the anchor point um, of the blue directional arrow to the centre of the character and rotated it accordingly, as if it was done by someone who could be at home playing on the game, using my character to fire a fireball. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've done. Um, although I never got to make all four abilities, I do feel confident in using the programs and disciplines that I've learned to produce further 3D models and animate them for a scene to show my audience. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my work. Awesome!